Today we're going to take a look at a plugin that will make your footage look more cinematic. And the way that it does that is with subtractive saturation and density. So let's take a look at that plugin and I'll explain what those things mean. The first thing that we're going to look at is this simplified node tree. Generally, you're going to have more nodes than this, but I just set this up for the sake of this tutorial. This plugin works best if you're in a big color space. So in this case, on the first node, what I did is take it from the source footage, that color space to DaVinci wide color gamut. And then at the end, I took it back from that DaVinci wide gamut into our final footage render, which is going to be the Rec 709. That second node, all that is, is a little bit of color correction. The footage looked a little bit yellow to me. So what I did was just correct that to offset that hue. This plugin is actually a DCTL. More information on that in the description below. All you really need to know is that on our node, what we're going to do on our third node there, we're going to drag a DCTL effect. And once we apply that effect, we have a list of all the DCTLs that we have. And in this case, of course, we're going to choose the hue shift. So here's our plugin and you'll notice that we have different adjustments for each of our primary colors, basically everything that we're going to adjust. So we have the red, green, and blue. And then we have the cyan, magenta, and yellow. By the way, the cyan here will appear white. That's fine, that's just a limitation of the software. In addition to those colors, we actually have a dedicated skin tone section also. Across the top, the top one is actually global saturation. If you move these sliders to the right, you get more saturation. If you move it to the left, you get less. We have three different settings for each of our options here. The first one is going to be hue. So if we focus on our red color here at the top, if we adjust the hue on that, we can change our reds to a different color. So in this case, we're changing it to green. The next option is saturation. The default within the plugin is subtractive saturation. What I'm going to do is use the slider at the bottom where you can move it from subtractive to additive or anywhere in between. With it being on additive, if we adjust the saturation and increase it, the saturation will increase of course, but you'll also see that the red color got brighter. If we slide it back over to the subtractive saturation, it will saturate the colors, but not make them brighter. What the density slider does is take any saturated colors and make them darker. As I alluded to in the beginning of this video, this is what makes your footage look a little bit more filmic. Across the bottom is all our vectors. And what this will do is show you what areas are being affected by the different colors. So we have the green, and then of course we have the blue, and skin tones across the bottom. So if we want to saturate the face and have it appear a little bit darker, we can adjust that density slider. Another thing I want to do is adjust the background. You may think that trees are green, but in my experience, if you adjust the yellow, that's when things like foliage will start getting adjusted. So if I move the slider for the yellow to the right, we're going to adjust that color on those trees to actually be more green. The other thing I'm going to do is increase the density. And what this will do is have a little bit of contrast between her and the background. And this will just make your subject stand out a little bit more. There's one more feature that we haven't touched yet. So let's take a look at this footage. The ground is actually a skin tone color. It encompasses a majority of the ground and maybe a little bit of her hair. In this case, I've already increased the saturation, the density. Keep an eye on the left-hand side. If I adjust the deep slider, those dark areas aren't going to be adjusted. However, if you look at the area at the bottom of the stairs, that will start being adjusted. So this is a good way to affect only your dark areas and not adjust your midtones and highlights. The last option that we're going to look at is a bypass option. So for example, I've already made some adjustments to the yellow. So let's click on the yellow vector. And now we can see everything that's been affected by it. If we choose the bypass option above our viewer, all that's going to do is bypass everything and then we're back to our log footage. And additionally, if we just toggle off our effect, that's just going to bring us back to our regular footage. We're not gonna be able to see the areas that we selected. So in order to see the before and after of our changes, what we have to do is choose a vector and then choose that bypass option. And then here we can see the adjustments that we made on our yellow hues, pushing them more towards green and adding more saturation and density. You may have noticed this in the last example, but if you make too much of a change, if you adjust the hue maybe too far off to the side, then you may start seeing that the selection may look a little bit scattered. And there's a couple ways that you can fix this. Either don't adjust something like the hue that far, don't make that large of an adjustment. Adjust maybe some neighboring hues or some hues that are similar to the one that you're trying to adjust. Or you could actually apply some spatial noise reduction 
to the same node that you're applying the plugin to, maybe only three or four. So who is this for? If you're just casually creating videos and you don't do that much color grading, then this may not be a great investment for you. But if you make a lot of videos potentially for YouTube or if you're something like a wedding filmmaker, then I think this plugin is definitely worth the investment because it will speed up your workflow. If you want more information, everything is linked in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more things like this, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.